Hey guys, I know it's been a while since I've made a video. Um, the last video I posted um, before the Body Beautiful one that I just posted was a very sad Kiss and Text update. Um, so it's been a little bit since then and I just kind of wanted to make a video. Um, it is March 3rd. It is Thursday. Um, today was a very stressful day, I'm not going to lie. Um, definitely challenging as a parent, definitely challenging overall. Um, it's been very stressful. I just want to show you my Star Wars bed blanket that Santa brought me. I haven't been able to show it off really yet. Very awesome. Very in love with that. So that's my Star Wars blanket. I have, I've been using it like crazy. It's bigger than your average, um, like, plush blanket. Super soft, super comfortable, and humongous. I don't have any blankets that large, so I'm really happy that I uh, got that for Christmas. I've been taking full advantage of it. Okay, again, I'm trying to play around with the lighting on this, and it's just not working out for me. Um, so basically, we've had, um... The fish tank's put together. Really excited about that. I love the sound of the filters running at night. It's very quiet, but as the water starts to lower a little bit, you hear more of the tank. Um, we've had four snails die out of six, which is unfortunate. Um, but the day that we bought our snails, a lot of the snails died in the tanks that we bought them from, and they kind of warned us that something might happen. So not surprising there, but thankfully they do refund you at PetSmart, so we were able to get our money back for those, and um, I ended up spending a little too much on stuff for the tank. We weren't sure how to make them or put them together. It's been a while for me since I've put a fish tank together, so I got to take some of the stuff we didn't use back, so that was awesome. Um, I feel like I'm coming down with a cold. Um, today was kind of rough for me. I wasn't feeling the greatest. Um... Basically, my cold sore is almost gone. I had to take some medication to make that go away. My skin has been really irritated and flaring up, basically, from everything to, I don't know, I just want to say, like, my skin irritates with stress, so I know that that's been bugging me as well. Oh, and I just kicked the <laughs> tripod. Ugh, okay, there we go. Let's start again. Um, so yeah, my colosaur is healing up nicely. I had to take some medication for that. I do break out really easily in times of stress um, with this ankylosing spondylitis. I do have a lot of flare-ups. Um, so that's been kind of rough. Um, don't mind the messy hair. I need a shower. Today was so long and exhausting. To start the day off, basically I got a cell phone bill of $600 and come to find out my SIM card was ghost hacked. I guess that's the way they describe it. So somehow on my bill, someone had texted 500 text messages to, to Texas, and I don't know anyone in Texas. So basically, I guess your SIM cards can get hacked somehow, and it's all new to me. I guess I'm old school. And um, I, anyway, needless to say, all the charges got reversed. Everything got dealt with. But that was the start of my morning um, after Brayson went to school. Then I did a cleaning today. And then I had to deal with some stuff at the school. I'm getting ready for the dance committee with the parent council. Um, just a little bit of behavior stuff with Brayson, but that's been worked out. So just trying to keep on track as a mom, trying to keep up with home life and um, the volunteer work we're doing. I was at the school this week for a carnival. Um, they had the French carnival with Bonhomme de Neige. Um, and we I made like heated up crepes and stuff like that. And... It was, it was quite a fun day for the kids. Um, what else has been going on? Um, basically been trying to stay sane, watching a lot of my shows. I got to watch the Chicago Fire, Chicago PD, Chicago Med, Chicago Justice Marathon yesterday. That was really awesome. Brought me to happiness. I love watching those shows. 
Um, my friend Kayla came back from Florida, so that was awesome. I've been able to talk with her. I feel like my life is complete again. Lush just came out with their Easter stuff today online, so I'm going to have to get some stuff from Lush online, as well as check it out in store on the 15th of March here in Canada. So, um, lots been going on. I have been slacking on the editing, I'm not gonna lie. I've been going through an emotional roller coaster of things going on. Um, on a good note, Novartis has been working with me one-on-one. -on -one. I now have someone from the company calling me on a weekly basis, trying to help me with this dose increase and trying to be my moral support since I feel like I don't have support from anyone right now as far as my medical team. Um, they are looking into ways to help me either get funding towards the extra $2,000 for the dose or to um, compassionately give it to me or I think just find a way to help the proceedings to get this dose increase going. Either way, I'm just impressed that someone's helping me. They reached out to me from my emails. I decided to take it upon myself and email Novartis myself and my health is my life. Like this is my decision on what I want to do with my body and my life and regardless of doctors or medical team or staff or whatever, if I don't like the outcome of how things are going, I'm going to battle this till the bitter end because my life is worth fighting for. So I'm going to keep fighting and I'm going to keep pushing. And I know my last update with Cosentex was sad and I felt horrible watching that when I had to edit it. And um, I don't like being that raw, but I'm going to have to be because that's what this disease can do to you. Um, I want to be myself. I want to show you that the struggles of life with this disease are real every day, whether it's getting out of bed or being a mom or getting in and out of the car and having struggles or having a hard time walking. I'm trying to show you my life is real and this is how I fight. So, um, so thank you for your support. Thank you for your kind words, your kind gestures, being very supportive for me. I appreciate all the help and all the support. Um, it's been a tough ride for me. I know everyone has their own struggles, and maybe my problems are minor compared to others, but that's just how I handled it, and I had to expose it raw on YouTube. This is my channel, and this is what it's for. So, um, so yeah, so I have 286 members on my People Using Cosentex group on Facebook, the one that I have been managing. Um, that one's going extremely well, actually. Um, lots of support on there. Lots of people being added daily. Um, I probably get about 5 to 10 requests a day. Um, so we're almost up to 300 subscribers. So it's really, really exciting. So that's going extremely well. well. I posted a live raw video just like I did here on YouTube on there and talked about it there. So if you're watching this video because you saw the one on YouTube, I also posted one on the group. And... Um, just in case people there didn't watch the uh, the YouTube video, I have it there. But um, it was an emotional day for me, and I'm moving on. I'm getting forward. That's what you have to do is keep moving forward. I have a son to look forward to every morning. He is my guiding light. He is my reason for being. So that's what I fight for every day. So um, I just wanted to kind of catch you guys up to speed. I have been a terrible slacker with YouTube. I am terribly sorry. I probably left you hanging a little bit after that sad Kisentex update. Um, they want me to try some more pain meds. Um, I had a doctor's appointment locally. I was going to make a video with it, but there wasn't enough footage, and I, I don't know if I'm going to do that or not. We'll see, but basically my doctor's appointment was to follow up with my local rheumatology team just to explain to them everything going on. I also had to get the medication for my lip and my flare-ups with my skin. So um, I met up with them, talked to them about how Cosentex is working. They're also trying to help me push through to, um, to get everything going. Um, my family doctor is trying to help me as much as she can also by giving me some sort of um, anti-inflammatories. I guess I was going to try uh, Topamax or Topiramate. I haven't started yet because I wanted to get this other medication going. I just started the birth control patch, which is new for me. I haven't been on birth control in seven years. <laughs> so um, my hormone levels are crazy right now. My body isn't doing things it should be. So basically my entire system is out of whack right now. So I really hope that this cold isn't happening. So um, I'm trying not to make this video too, too long. It was more of a catch you up to speed kind of thing. I do have my injection tomorrow. 
So uh, March 4th is my number 12 injection. So I'm going to be making a video tomorrow with that. So you will see that one. I still have lots of past videos that I need to add, edit and update. Just stuff about going on around here and what we've been up to. Um, not so much medical stuff, but just battling life every day and doing random stuff. So March break is going to be coming up soon. Um, my body is not doing as, as good as it should be because I'm not eating very good. I need to make a pact with you guys, for you guys, for myself. Um, we need to do some sort of cutting out the sugars, cutting out the, the bad junk. Just start somewhere. Um, the gym can't happen for me. That just overdid my back way too much. I just can't do all that as well. Um, and working, it's just way too much on my body. My body was starting to shut down. I am so sore just sitting here right now. I can feel my back pulsating in pain. Um, but I need to cut out sugar, 100%. So that's my goal. So I'm going to give myself a couple of weeks to get this crap organized. <laughs> Maybe we can make videos together. Maybe I can make videos and talk about the food that I ate for the day and what I cut out. Even if it's just cutting down a pop a day, if it's taking out um, artificial sugars of every kind and just sticking to natural sugars. I eventually want to cut out sugar completely um, and work on getting to that point. That's my goal for the remainder of 2017 is getting down to a healthy weight. I've gained weight. I've lost weight. I've gained weight. I've lost weight. I eat healthy. I eat unhealthy. Then I eat healthy. Then I fall off the wagon again. So I need your support and I need someone um, to comment daily and tell me what you're doing as well. Um, we're going to work together. I think we're going to work together and try to get this going. So Help me help you, I guess. Maybe we can do it together. I don't know. I'm just running out of options. My back is on fire. I need to find a way to cut down the inflammation without being on pills. I really do not want to take any kind of pills. I want to do this the right way. So that's my video for tonight. So um, if you've got any creative ideas on how to start slowly without shocking the system, leave your comments below. Um, I just made my Body Beautiful video. Um, I posted that. Check that out. They are a local company that made the bath bombs that I've been using. I have more videos to post on the stuff I've been using. Um, there's also a link for you to check them out on Facebook. Um, yeah, so basically my life has been crazy in a nutshell, to be honest. It's been going wild over here. So much going on. I can't even keep up. There's so much I'm not even telling you probably that I'm not even thinking of at the moment just because I wanted to say hello and say happy March. I can't believe we're in the month of March already. Um, the last few months since Christmas have just flown by and I need some handles to hang on and see like where is time going. <laughs> I just can't believe it. So um, yeah, but that's how things go, right? Um, never, never slows down anymore. So anyway, um, give my video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Um, don't forget to click the bell below beside the like button and you can always be notified when I make new videos. Um, it gives you notifications on that. So like my video guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for following. Thanks for being my support and my entertainment and enjoyment. So I don't have to think of my own problems. Um, yeah, so keep watching. There's more to come. Lots coming up soon. And I will see you guys with the next video. See you tomorrow for my injection. Bye, guys.